Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the medical terminology of respiratory system. Coming to the first term, it is adenoidectomy. Ectomy is nothing but surgical removal. Adenoidectomy is the surgical removal of adenoids or excision of adenoids. The next term is alveolar duct. It is a small tube that leads from the terminal bronchiole to the respiratory bronchiole and is the point of attachment for alveolar. The next is alveolitis. Inflammation of the alveoli is nothing but alveolitis. Aphonia. It is a condition of absence of one's voice. Apnea. A temporary absence of respiration. Apnea is nothing but a temporary absence of respiration. Aphaxia. It is a condition caused by lack of oxygen that leads to impeding or actual death. The next term is aspirate. It is to withdraw fluid from tissue or to withdraw fluid, tissue or other substances from a body cavity, cyst or tumor. Atelectasis. It is nothing but failure of the lung to expand or inflate completely. Ectasis means dilation. Next term is bronchia, bronchiectasis. That is the dilation of the bronchi. Bronchitis is inflammation of the bronchus. Bronchopneumonia is the inflammation of the lung, particularly the bronchioles and alveoli that is associated with bronchitis. Bronchoscope. It is a thin tube-like instrument used to examine the inside of the trachea, bronchi and lungs. Bronchoscopy is the procedure involved involving a bronchoscope to examine the inside of trachea, bronchi and lungs. The next term is bronchospasm. The spasmatic contraction of the smooth muscle of the bronchi is bronchospasm. The next is cardiac notch. It is an indentation on the surface of the left lung. The next term is carina. It is a ridge at the base of the trachea. The base of the trachea is Carina. It is a ridge at the base of the trachea or windpipe that separates the opening of the right and left main bronchi. The large air passages that lead from the trachea to the lung. The bronchi and bronchioles are nothing but air passages. Next is computerized tomography, CT. It is a non-invasive imaging technique that uses computers to analyze several cross-sectional x-rays in order to reveal minute details about structures in the body. The next term is cyanotic. It is pertaining to abnormal color of blue. Pertaining to an abnormal color of blue that is bluish color lips and nail beds caused by deoxygenation. The next is diaphragm. It is a sheet of skeletal muscle that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities. This is an important point. Diaphragm separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities and it has to contract and relax for you to breathe. It plays an important role in breathing. The next is dysphonia, a condition of difficult speaking, including hoarseness and change in pitch or quality of the voice. Dysopnea. Dysponia is nothing but Difficulty in breathing. Epiglottitis. It is an inflammation of epiglottis. The next term is endoscope. A thin tube-like instrument used to look at tissues inside the body. Endoscopy is a procedure that uses an endoscope to examine the inside of the body. The next term is epiglottis. It is a leaf-shaped piece of elastic cartilage that is a portion of the larynx that swings to close the trachea during swallowing. Next is epitaxis. It is nothing but nose bleed. Eupnea. It is a mode of breathing that occurs at rest and does not require the cognitive thought of the individual, also known as quiet breathing. Expiration or exhalation. It is a process of causing air to leave the lungs. Fossus. The openings of the oral cavity into pharynx. Fossils are nothing but opening of the oral cavity into pharynx. The next term is glottis. It is composed of vestibular folds, the true vocal cords and the space between the folds. Heart palate. 
located at the anterior region of the nasal cavity and is composed of bone. Hemothorax. Hemothorax, it is hemorrhage in the pleural cavity. Helium of the lung. It is a concave region where blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and nerves also enter the lungs. The region where trachea is modified into bronchi. Helium is the region where trachea is modified into bronchi. Next is hypercapnia. Abnormally elevated blood levels of carbon dioxide. Hypercapnia is abnormally elevated blood levels of carbon dioxide. Hyperapnea. Hyperapnea. It is a forced breathing or breathing that is excessive. Hypocapnia. Hypo means deficit. Abnormally low blood levels of carbon dioxide. Hypoxemia. Oxemia means pertaining to oxygen. Hypoxemia means below normal level of oxygen saturation of blood. Typically less than 95%. The next is hypoxia. Lack of oxygen supply to tissues. Influenza. An acute viral infection involving the respiratory tract. The next is inspiration. Inhalation. Or process of breathing air into the lungs. The next is laryngeal pertaining to larynx. Laryngitis is inflammation of the larynx. Laryngopharynx is one of the three regions of the pharynx. Inferior to oral pharynx, posterior to larynx. Laryngoplasty. Oplasty is nothing but surgical repair. Laryngoplasty is surgical repair of the larynx. Laryngoscope. A thin tube-like instrument used to examine the larynx. Laryngoscopy is the examination of the larynx with a mirror or laryngoscope. The next term is larynx. A cartilaginous structure inferior to the laryngopharynx that connects the pharynx to trachea. Larynx connects the pharynx to trachea and helps regulate the volume of the air that enters and leaves the lungs. It is also known as voice box. Trachea is known as windpipe, larynx is known as voice box. The next term is lobectomy. Ectomy means surgical removal. Lobe is any lobe of an organ. So excision of a lobe of an organ is lobectomy. Nasopharyngitis. Inflammation of the nasopharynx. What is nasopharynx? The upper part of the throat behind the nose. An opening on each side of the nasopharynx leads into the ear. The next is nosocomial infection. Infection acquired in the hospital. Nosocomial infection is infection acquired in the hospital. Next term is oropharynx. A passageway for both air and foot borders the nasopharynx and the oral cavity. Pharyngeal tonsil. The tonsils located at the back of the throat also known as adenoid when swollen. Pharyngitis. Pharyngitis is the inflammation of the pharynx. What is pharynx? A tube formed by skeletal muscle and lined by mucous membrane that is continuous with that of the nasal cavities. It is also known as throat. Larynx is voice box. Pharynx is throat. Trachea is windpipe. Common names. Pleural effusion. An abnormal collection of fluid between the Collection of fluid between the thin layers of the tissue, pleura, lining the lungs and wall of the chest cavity. Pleuritis or pleuri pleurisy. Inflammation of the pleura. Pneumoconiosis. A condition caused by in inhalation of lung. Pneumoconiosis is nothing but a condition caused by the inhalation of dust. Pneumonectomy. Pneumo means lung. Ectomy means surgical removal. Excision of the lung. Pneumonia. A severe inflammation of the lungs in which the alveoli are filled with fluid. Alveoli are also called as air sacs. Common name for alveoli is air sacs. The next term is pneumothorax. An abnormal collection of air. In the space between the thin layer of the tissue that covers the lungs and the chest cavity that can cause all or part of the lung to collapse. 
The next term is polysomnography. PSG. Polysomnography. Simultaneous and continuous monitoring of several parameters during sleep to study the normal and abnormal sleep. Pulmonary edema. It is the fluid accumulation in alveoli and bronchioles. It is related to heart failure. The next is pulmonary embolism, a blood clot within the lung. Rhinitis is nothing but inflammation of the mucous membrane of the nose. Rhinoplasty. Rhino means nose. Oplasty means surgical repair. Rhinoplasty is a plastic surgical operation on the nose, either reconstructive, restorative or cosmetic. Rhinorrhea. Orea. Orea means flow. Rhinorrhea is excessive nasal drainage, also known as runny nose. The next term is septal cartilage, the flexible hyaline cartilage connected to the nasal bone. Sinusitis, it is the inflammation of the sinuses. Soft palate, it is located at the posterior portion of the nasal cavity and consists of muscle tissue. Sonogram. A computer picture of areas inside the body created by high energy sound waves. Spirometry. Spirometry is the measurement of the volume of air inhaled or exhaled by the lung. Spirometry is the measurement of volume of the air inhaled or exhaled by the lungs. Tachypenia. Tachy means fast. Penia is related to breathing. Tachypenia is rapid breathing. Thoracalgia. Thoraco means chest. Algia is pain. Thoracalgia is pain in the chest. Thoracentesis. Synthesis is removal of fluid. Thoracentesis is removal of fluid from the pleural cavity through a needle inserted between the ribs. Thoracic pertaining to chest. Thoracoscope. It is a thin tube-like instrument used to examine inside of the chest. Thoracoscopy. It is the examination of the inside of the chest using a thoracoscope. Thoracotomy. It is an operation to open the chest. Otomy means opening. Ostomy means otomy means incision. Ostomy means surgical artificial opening. Thoracotomy is an operation to open the chest or to make an incision. Tonsillectomy, excision of the tonsils. Tonsillitis is nothing but inflammation of the tonsils. Tracheitis is the inflammation of trachea. Tracheostomy, ostomy is surgery to create an opening into trachea. OS indicates artificial opening. OT indicates incision. Tracheostomy, surgery to create an opening into trachea. Tracheotomy is surgical incision of the trachea. Trachea is the windpipe. Common name for trachea is windpipe. Ulvula. Uvula. Sorry. Uvula. A small bulbulous teardrop shaped structure located at the apex of the soft palate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.